my estimate of the cost mm. and some other estimates that I've since got, which reinforces what I've got in my paper, is mm. that the annual cost uh, is about a $1 billion for every 1,000 new infections. Now, that's not just the cost of treatment, although that alone is estimated around 400000 But when you take in other clinical care costs, when you take in loss of productivity, sick leave, all of that sort of thing, it's a very expensive thing that occurs every year one, with $1 billion. We're not spending $1 billion on, uh, on HIV prevention. We're we're spending a fraction on that. So if we reduce HIV infections, we reduce this growing bill. And I particularly want to just finish on this slide, which is really is about globally what needs to be spent on HIV. And it starts off in the year 2011, <coughs> and as you can see, rises up to 2015, going from about $17 billion uh, up to around $23, $24 billion. This isn't what needs to be spent globally in, uh, in developing countries. So yes, it's going to cost us more money to scale up rapidly treatment and prevention. But that tends to maximise at $23 billion in 2015. And then you start to see the benefits of that investment. You see the graphs, tr uh, the bars trending down up to 2020 and costs begin to fall. And that is, that is the opportunity we have. If we invest now, we will see those falls. If we fail to invest, then the bars are just going to keep going upwards. And again, um, very inspiring words from President Obama. Let's finish the fight. The real possibility of an AIDS-free generation. I certainly believe that. And, uh, and I hope you will at least consider that proposition in, in your work as well. Thank you. <coughs>